what exactly happened to them. Stay with us. My name is Amir and today in this video I'm going to talk to you more about the reasons behind the, one of the biggest mass extinction in the planet. The reason behind the survival of early mammals from this ma mass extinction, the Cretaceous tertiary mass extinction. Picture a dinosaur in your mind, huge creatures that live in this planet for about 200 million years ago. Huge creatures that could survive in this planet and could adopt in this environment. Huge creatures such as Argentinosaurus with up to 130 feet long and 110 pounds of weight. Huge creatures that were a striking fear with their every stride. Until 65 million years ago, when these huge creatures were a small dot compared to a 6 mile wide meter that is struck near today's Mexico. A huge and high speed meter that incinerated everything in its path. A catastrophic impact that is called the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction Event. An interesting point about this phenomenon is some animals, including many small mammals and birds, could survive this event. developed by Lewis and Walter Alvarez. There are two alternatives in this theory. Some believe that the matter which hit the Earth actually caused a phenomenon called microwave summer. So what is microwave summer? Microwave summer is a situation in which there are lots of radiation caused by this phenomenon and um, radiations that resulted from the impact cause health this wildfire loss of water and also clean plants the second alternative is that the matter may have caused nuclear winter nuclear winter is a situation in which debris in atmosphere reduces light penetration and greenhouse effect but there are evidences against the impact theory Evidences such as microwave summer would have killed mammals, freshwater animals, and birds. Also, nuclear winter would favor polar dinosaurs. There is another theory called Deccan Traps theory. Deccan Traps theory is caused volcanism, increasing temperature, climate, zone shift and brought ecological instability and animal health issues. This story talking about the 2000 meter thick covering an area of 500,000 kilometers square 
which is the largest volcanic features on Earth. One of the early mammals that could survive the mass extinction is a small shrew-like mammal called Cynodontropsid. Today we know that Cynodontropsid is the ancient closest relatives of mammals. A lack of size is part of an evolutionary strategy for mammals which enabled them to survive in the age of dinosaurs. Ancient mammals had short lives but that turned out to be an advantage instead in their competition against dinosaurs. In other words, mammals produce fast and many this would let them to adapt and to diversify and lead them to an evolutionary success. Mammals also could eat insects and aquatic plants, which were relatively abundant after the meteorite.